welcome. I am the Overlord, and this is crack a -Pack, a show where I open up random Magic the Gathering seal and product for all of you guys. So, what do we have today? Today we have a pre-release pack from, not Gatewatch, wait for it, wait for it. Not Dragon's Maze. Gate, gate Crash? Gate Crash? Gate, gate Crash. Let's, let's just call it Gate Crash. Yes, this is a pre-release pack back when they did the choose your guild sort of thing. You know, a gimmick that was appropriate for the Return to Ravnica block and maybe the Cons block, but completely out of place, I think, everywhere else. So I'm, I'm glad they're not really doing that anymore. Maybe they'll only bring it back when it's appropriate and color fixing is a must. So, what we have here, let's, let's open it up, let's see. Uh, of course, it's still sealed. Ah, it says on the back, Gate Crash. I'm pretty sure I said that, like, at least five times. Yes. To open this, my nails have been cut recently, so what you do is a knife. Not just any knife, a knife worthy of the Overlord. Ah, this is a pretty dinky knife. So, what do we have inside? We have some reward thing that no one cares about. Something that talks about the Orzov Syndicate. Ooh, a decal or sticker. Oh, well, I won't toss that. Uh, we have our obligatory spin down, black and white, appropriate as those are the colors of Orzov, and then we have some goodies here. Uh, we have our seated pre-release pack with a alternate art promo. You know, I kind of miss these alternate art promos. They're so used to... it's so shiny. You know, the, the n now the fact that they have the date stamped, any rare or mythic thing, kind of makes it less special, and the date stamp's kind of ugly, so that's that's neat. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five packs of Gate Crash. All right. I was kind of expecting some Return to Ravnica in here, but I guess they don't do the three then two, or I guess they didn't do that back then. So uh, let's let's start things off by opening up this pre-release pack, the seated booster. Let's see what's in here. So we have our, our promo here, an Orzhov Guildgate, all right. An Alms Beast. Creatures blocking or blocked by Alms Beast have lifelink. Interesting, a, a neat drawback for a 6-6 six, six for four, which, you know, is a bomb anyway. I love the art on this, the stained glass wings. That's so cool. Johannes Voss, great job on this one. Thrall Parasite, alright, I'm just gonna kinda go through these, uh, wanna make sure I'm trying something a little bit different with my setup so it's not as easy for me to see that what I'm capturing is what's reflected here. So, a handful of cards, ooh, removal, not too bad. Back in Apparition, Sneaking Enforcer. Zarachi Tiger. Okay, cool. So that was our, our neat little seated pack. I think it would set us in an alright position if this were a pre-release. So let's start let's let's start cracking our packs. We have five of them there. And we're just gonna go one by one. Let's see. Gate crash. What's what's in here? What's good? I think there's the Gideon Planeswalker. That's always nice. I think Thespian Stage, which comes in to play as a copy of any land. That'd be great. Uh, and five of the guild colored. Oh, sorry, kind of lost my train of thought. I just realized that I was doing it the old way, or the way that I was doing it and didn't like it. So, the Shocklands, which I can always use more shocks. So let's see, it doesn't look like we have a foil on this one, but we do have a Demir Charm. Nice. You get to choose something. I love the, the versatility of some of these charms. Counter target sorcery spell, destroy target creature with power two or less. 
or look at the top three cards of Target Player's Library, put one back on top, and the rest in the graveyard. Ooh, I like that. I like you can mess with their draw if you do it to an opponent. Tap and untapped gate you control to deal one damage to each opponent. Could be neat if you're running lots of Yoke Gate, maybe that crazy Mazes End deck, have nothing but Yoke Gates, and Vyashu Shank Tail, Vyashino, Vyashino, I think that's, I think that's how you say it. If not, that's, that's how you say it now. First Strike and Blood Rush. Blood Rush is neat. It's basically like you have a, I mean, really weak creature, the 3-1, I, I don't really like things with a lot of one toughness. Uh, or you have a pump spell. So there's that. And then let's see what we have. Just an advertisement card. Get rid of that. See our basic land. It's a mountain. I don't really like a lot of the return to Ravnica or Ravnica basic lands. They're just they're just buildings. This one's a red building, so it's a mountain. Eh, I'm not too impressed. But what we might be impressed by is our rare for the pack. So let's check this out. Ooh, bam! Ooh, Geyer Sage. She's, she's done work for me before. So she's a 1 2 for 2, evolve, and you tap to add a green mana to your mana pool for each 1 1 counter on her. So she'll naturally get 1 1 counters, and then she just ramps more and more. So that's, that's pretty sweet. I like that. All right, not not too shabby. Let's open up the next pack. There we go. Let's go through this here. I do like how they altered the art of the Guild Gate. I think between this and Dragon's Maze. So let's see, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, Zamet Guild Mage can pay a green and a blue to either have creatures enter the battlefield with an additional room counter on it. Or you can pay it and remove a counter from a creature you control to draw a card. Hey, that's pretty sweet. It's a bit conditional, but card draw. Fun. Homing Lightning deals four damage to target creature and each other creature with the same name as that creature. So the one counter to pack rats in limited. And white of precinct six. It's plus one plus one for each creature card in your opponent's graveyards but not your own. Alright, uh, we'll just put that down there. Do we get a token here? Nope, more ads. Oop. And then our land is an island. Okay. Again, that's not too bad, but it's just, it, it just doesn't feel like magic. The guild gates you can, you can see for comparison here. Like, eh, I don't know. I think the guild gates are, are fantasy enough that it's magic, and this is almost like sci-fi at that point. But you know what's not sci-fi? This rare. So let's check it out. Whoop-bam! Biomass mutation. Creatures you control become XX until end of turn. Where X is the amount of mana you feel like paying. Alright. That's that can be that can be pretty saucy. If you have lots of mana, just dump it all in there. Like all your creatures huge, maybe running tokens or something, and then just go on into Windville. And I like Windville. It's not why I play Magic. Uh, sometimes Wind Town is good. Or Wind Plaza. Plaza, sorry. It's it's super fancy for winners. So let's let's crack this next pack here. Okay, so no no foilies. That's that's alright. We, we don't need foils. Oh, we have that Thrall Parasite here, a True Fire Paladin. It, you can either give it plus two plus total end of turn, or you can give it first strike. So, Pump Up Bowl, giving it, making it a 4-2 Vigilance first strike. Not too bad for it to drop in some mana. A Hellraiser Goblin. Creatures you control have haste and attack each turn if able to. Neat! That's all I have to say. It's neat. Is this a token? Nope. Throw that away. We don't want that. Uh, and in another city that we're calling a mountain because it has red mist on it. Ooh. Let's not let that get us down because we have another card to check out. And our rare for the pack? Is it? Is it a planeswalker? Is it a shock land? It's... Bam! Oh! Yes! It's breeding pool! It's a shock land! 
I remember when I first got into the game, a friend had one of these that I wanted to trade him for, and he wouldn't because he was saving it for his Sliver Commander deck, which he now almost has in proxy. But hey, that's all right, because we, we have a breeding pool of our own. Uh, enters the battlefield tab unless you pay to life, and it's a forest island. An island forest. A forest on an island. A bunch of buildings. It's, it's a bunch of buildings. But all right! Sweet! We, we got a shark land out of this. I am super happy because no matter what, you'll always find a use for your shark land. And geez, if this was my pre-release pack, like, sorry Orzov, I've, I've been getting a lot of good Simic stuff here. A lot of big Simic bomby stuff too, so let's see. Let's see if we can, if we can keep up the hype. Keep up the hype. Maybe what could top this? Uh, Planeswalker perhaps? I think it's only Gideon. Gideon Jura, or Gideon of something, something, angry fire. Or perhaps a foil shark land. That'd be great. Let's, let's hope for that. Madcap skills. I heard that was like insane and limited. All right. So again, no foil chance for this one. That's all right. Our last pack there. We have one more. That'll be a foil chance. This one. Rapid hybridization. Destroy target creature. It can be regenerated. Creature's controller puts a 3-3 three, three green frog lizard creature token onto the battlefield. It has the keyword redundant. I mean, yeah, frogs aren't lizards, but they're close. Do it, does it really need to be a frog and a lizard? I don't know. But hey, a one mana destroy something in blue? Even if it gives them a 3-3, like, that is awesome. Because chances are what you want to destroy is a lot worse than a 3-3. Ah, the Orzov Hirun adds black or white to your mana pool. And you can pay black and white to give it, make it a 1-4 white and black thrall artifact creature with a lifelink till end of turn. Not I don't know why I said it, ignore that. We should we should bleep that out. And experiment one has evolve and remove two well encounters on it to regenerate it. But hey, on turn one, it's a pretty good play because it's just going to keep evolving the more you play. So it'll stick around. It it it's a good one drop if you get it out there early because then it kind of becomes a two drop and a three drop and a four drop as you play more cards. All right. So do we have a token? We have a knight's token! Sweet! That's a win. In these old packs, since tokens aren't very common, like they are in the, the new packs, I, I consider getting a token like a little bonus, even if I have a billion of those. So hey, here, here's uh, uh, buildings with the uh, plants on them. It's a forest! No, no, it's not a forest, it's just buildings. Sorry, Ravnica block. Whoop! <laughs> Clan Defiance! I, 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 you, th you thought I was gonna... I was gonna... It's easy there for a second, but no, bam, right in your face. Just like right in that guy's face. Wow, that must hurt. And also be really bright. You think you'd get those little, like, sunspots in your eyes? Like when you look at the sun, and then, like, you just have a blotchy thing in the middle of your vision for a few hours? I wonder if that's, like, the same sort of deal. For this one, you can choose one or more, so you might as well choose all of them if you can. Deals X damage to target creature with flying, X damage to target creature without flying, and or X damage to target player. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't choose at least the last one if you're choosing one of these other two. Could be some super sneaky strategies going on there. That's the game of magic. And speaking of magic, this last pack. It's going to be a good one. I can feel it. I can feel it, everyone. May we be blessed by the, the son of Orsav. I've, I've paid my magic fees. I, I paid for this pre-release pack. Uh, it's part of a bundle of something. So we'll, we'll let the son's blessing right here in the middle give us an awesome, awesome last pack. So let's see. What we got here? Ooh, go? Take that artifacts. Okay. Son, you've you've done your job. Cause I need I need the space. Well, looks like no foils, but that's all right. Let's see, cause that's seven, eight, nine, ten. That's all right, cause we have the Viscoopa Guild Mage, which is actually what we got on the pack that we opened. Hey, that's pretty neat. 
Anyway, you can give a target creature leveling till end of turn. Whenever you gain life this turn, each opponent loses that much life. And you can stack this, too. So if you pay two generic, two white, and two black, then you activate it, and then you gain one life, then your opponent will actually lose two life, because both of those triggers will happen. That's, that's pretty neat. Then we have Dying Wish, enchant creature you control. Enchanted creature dies, target player loses X life, and you gain X life, where X is its power. Pretty spiteful. I like it. Ooh, another guild mage. Dusk Mantle Guild Mage. Whenever a card is put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere this turn, that player loses one life. Hmm, spacey. Target player puts the top two cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. There you go. All right. Dusk Mantle Guild Mage. What do you think, guys? Do we have a token? Can you call it? Call it in the, in the comments below if you're if you're brave and paying attention or care at this point. Because we don't have a token. Bet you feel silly. Alright, speaking of silly, this is our swamp. It's like a city, except there's sewage, which is closer to a swamp, I, I guess. I don't know. Don't like it. What do I do like is the final rare of the pack. I can't just, like, quick reveal this one. This one's the big one. This one's the super big one. What are we gonna get? I don't know. You don't know. That's why you're watching this. Unless you're watching it again. And then you do know, but don't tell anyone else because it's a surprise. So what do we got here? What, are, what is it? What's it gonna be? Boom! Molten Primordial. For seven, it has haste. And when it enters the battlefield for each opponent, gain control of up to one target creature that player controls until end of turn. On top of those creatures, gain haste till end of turn. Neat! And just imagine this in like a in like a Marchesa deck where you'll have or something that keeps it coming back from the graveyard to the battlefield or keeps entering the battlefield, maybe keep blinking it out. So you just steal all your opponent's creatures, using them once per turn, and then Yeah, or maybe pull this back from the graveyard as an instant somehow, and then steal someone else's creature to jump block for you. Seems fun. Alright, so let's let's go ahead and, and wrap up this very eventful guild pack here with the Orzhov Sun. We do have our Shiny Privilege promo, which is always nice. The Alms Beast. The Gyre Sage. We'll have our Biomass Mutation over here. Then we'll put our Breeding Pool. Yeah! Shock lamb. That's awesome. So happy. So happy to have you join my collection, Breeding Pool. We hope you enjoy it here. And there's Clan Defiance when you just hit the nope button. Just just not gonna take any of it. Nope on out of there. And Morton Primordial. Alright, let's let's throw up this go to gate, because I like that. And it's not trying to be like a swamp mountain, it's it's a gate. You're calling it what it is. Unlike this mountain, brrr, shake it around so you can't even see it. There's the Demir Charm. We have to MVP because he's our guild mage, and also it was in the same pack that you had the art in. And that's great. Good for you. Let's be friends. Here's another guild gate, the Smith guild gate. Rapid hybridization, so beast within for blue. And this has been our Orsov Guild pre-release pack cracking. This was a lot of fun. Saw some neat stuff. Saw some cards that when I was just getting into, you know, maybe I got a couple packs, but they were certainly rotating out of standard at that time. It was overall a pretty good cracker pack. Got that breeding pool. Got myself a sticker. I wasn't expecting the sticker. They, they don't do stickers anymore. They don't do stickers anymore. I got my spin down. So I can open a spin-down museum built entirely out of the Magic the Gathering spin-down dice I've picked up. A Geyer Sage, nice. You got some workings for a sweet Simic, including Breeding Pool. Woo! I'm super happy about that. Always happy to have another guild charm. Thanks everyone for watching, and remember, go now, my minions, and be free! <laughs>